Welcome to Inside the Hive. I'm Trevor Alt. Let's talk football. The DC squad took their first road trip this Saturday as they headed down to Franklin, Indiana to take on a powerful Panther squad. After an 0-3 open to the season with little offensive firepower, the Jackets were looking to switch things up by giving sophomore quarterback Aaron Spence his first career start. You might recall Spence led a late drive last week against Hanover, and Coach Rob Taylor and the rest of the Jackets were hoping he could continue that momentum. Early on, the Jackets found themselves in a hole, down 14-0 at the end of the first, before Spence capped a 58-yard DC drive with a TD run. Franklin would go on to score again, but Spence was able to keep the game tight with another TD scamper, this time from nine yards out. That cut the Panther lead to just a touchdown at 21-14 with under a minute left in the half. Unfortunately, the Panthers were able to march down and kick a last second field goal from 30 yards out, and that would prove to be the last of the momentum the Jackets would see. Franklin came out firing in the second half, putting up 21 points in the third quarter alone as the Jacket offense sputtered and were shut out in the second half. The final tally rang up 52-14 Franklin. Despite the loss, the Jackets were able to continue making some progress offensively, putting up a season-high 385 total yards. Spence was able to make some noise in his first start, spreading it around to his receivers for 122 yards in the air. Senior QB Rick Powell still got in on the action. He and Spence combined for 156 of the team's 207 rushing yards. On defense, the team was anchored by Eric Rubio, who hauled in 11 solo tackles, including three for a loss, and preseason All-American defensive end Joe Mee Scott tossed in the Jackets' lone sack of the day. The Jackets hope to recover from their four-game skid, as they've got next weekend off. The return to the field October 8th to take on undefeated conference foe Mount St. Joseph on the road once again. In other Jacket sports news, several teams found themselves in the heart of the action over the weekend. The men's and women's golf team finished fourth and sixth in their respective tournaments. The Jacket volleyball squad finished two and two in Pittsburgh at the Carnegie Mellon Invitational. Like the football team, women's tennis fell to Franklin on the road. The men's soccer squad dropped their opening conference match, falling 3-0 to Anderson and the women's soccer team gave Jackets fans something to be happy about, putting up an impressive 3-0 victory over Anderson, including two goals from freshman Megan Reddick. You can read more about all these events and upcoming ones right here at defianceathletics.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Hive. I'm Trevor All. Go Jackets!